New at five tonight for the first time in 40 years, one local city is close to not having a ban on dogs based on their breeds. This had been in place because some dogs were considered potentially dangerous just because of their breed. Kennewick City Council members voted to get rid of breed specific regulations. Ashley Manfria dug into this for us today. Ashley, what did you find out? Tracy, until now, pet owners in Kennewick had to have a special permit to own certain types of dogs like pit bulls, pit bull mixes, but now dogs will only qualify as dangerous or potentially dangerous if it can be proven that they have hurt an animal or another human. Now for one local woman, she sees this as a win for local dog lovers all over the Tri-Cities. All pit bulls in the in the city of Kennewick can be treated equally. The city of Kennewick has ended the ban on dog restrictions based on breed. Okay, so that motion passes four to two with Kennewick adopted its breed specific rules on pit bulls and other potential dangerous dog breeds back in the eighties. Over the years, pet owners had to comply with special rules and get permits if they wanted to have a dog of that type of breed. And I actually already saw comments from people last night on these news stories who are saying that they're going to move to Kennewick now, that they've been holding off moving to Kennewick until these breed restrictions were lifted. In her research, she found between 2014 and 2018, there were 177 reports of dogs biting people in Kennewick. Of those dogs, only 18 were pit bulls. Most were chihuahuas. As a pit bull owner herself, Ashley Schoenwall believes the restrictions were discriminatory. Breeds, and there's no one breed that's responsible for a majority of the bites. All dogs can bite given the right circumstances. Council member John Trumbo says this isn't the first time breed specific legislature or BSL has come to the council floor. I oppose it when BSL was presented to me the first time, and I still oppose it. He says it's important for pet owners to know that they are still liable if their dog attacks. Those individuals have to recognize that this freedom to have the dog that they want to have would place, place a greater responsibility on their taking care of that animal and ensuring that that animal is not a threat or perceived as a threat. According to Trumbo, the new breed change will go into effect next week. Now, this all came about because of state legislature, legislators passed a new law this year that said Washington cities could no longer have breed-specific laws without a reasonable process for exempting individual dogs that pass a canine good citizen test. Live in the studio, Ashley Nanfria, NBC Right Now. Continuing coverage right now, Franklin County Sheriff Jim Raymond and the city of Connell are hosting a forum to address community concerns. This after the sheriff's office announced deputies and Connell police are no longer to work together unless there's an emergency. That meeting is underway right now. Let's listen in on what's going on inside the Connell Fire Department. <laughs> That's the next one? Okay. That's the next one. So I'm going to explain to you real sure what the Office of Sheriff is. The, the Office of Sheriff is actually one of, actually one in the state where you're constitutionally elected and um, you answer to the voters as the sheriff. You, you don't answer to anybody else. The voters decide when it's time to unseat you or, or re-elect you. And so by law, this is what the sheriff uh, by RCW, what the, what the sheriff is all about. Uh, I am the chief executive officer of the county for law enforcement. Uh, I hold all the peace officer type of certifications in the county and those are issued by me. As you go through, you'll see the, what the duties of sheriffs are. Um, I'll ask you to pay close attention to a couple little pieces there um, that have some significance. Uh, uh, one of the differences between a police chief and a sheriff is I execute all the orders of the courts, writs, subpoenas, arrest warrants, search warrants. All of those are always penned under the office of sheriff, and I have that responsibility to make sure that those orders are executed. Okay. So that meeting just got underway. It seems to be going well so far. There will be more shared with the community of Connell throughout the night. 
We talked to the city administrator, Maria Pena, about what to expect tonight, and she tells us everything that needs to be out there has not been shared, and that's what tonight's meeting is about. If you want to watch that meeting, we are streaming it live on our Facebook page, and we'll have a complete wrap-up of the night's events on 11 at 11. New tonight, students at Sela Middle School are mourning the loss of their therapy dog. Benny died just days after his retirement was announced. Alana and Zunza caught up with Benny's owner and has his story. Honorable. Loving. Those are just two words students use to remember Benny. The school's therapy dog joined the staff at Sela Middle School six years ago. Students said, hey, wouldn't it be great to have a dog at our school? And I'm like, yes, that would be great to have a dog. When Karen Thomas heard what students wanted, she knew she had the perfect dog. I had the pleasure to breed several dogs that went on to work as therapy dogs. And they all do an amazing job. But there's only a very few animals that had, would have the temperament to live with 800 middle schoolers for seven hours a day. Benny made the school day a little easier for many students. If you were stressed about a test, you could go pet him in between classes and it just calmed you down. That was his main purpose. Well, why is he here? What's his role? And I said, you're petting him and you're smiling. That's his role. You know, he just, he's here to make everybody feel good. Now, six years later, students and Karen are saying goodbye to their furry friend. The biggest, like I said before, the biggest joy was sharing him with everyone else, just seeing him interact with the other people. And um, I mean, he taught the kids so much over the years. I mean, unconditional love. The, uh, the school will be planting a tree in Benny's memory and are planning to start training in another therapy dog. No word yet when that will be happening, but Benny's owner tells me the next one will likely come from her. Alana Nzunza, NBC, right now. Right now, Yakima police need your help finding a runaway teenager. Take a look at your screen. Police are looking for 14-year-old Tatum Smiskin Ohms. They say she ran away last Wednesday. She wanted to